Yo, what's going on everyone, I'm Xamer, and today we're going to be over discussing another overclock, this time for the Drillers Cryo Gun, which is the Ice Spear Overclock. So, let's get it started. So the way the Ice Spear works is it shoots a giant Ice Spear Jack cell that deals massive damage and stuns most targets. Uh, however, the downside is once you find this Ice Spear, you have an extended pressure delay. So how you find this Ice Spear is by pressing R, when you have the Cryo Gun equipped, it does not... Um, replace the regular cryo beam. Just keep this in mind. If you're also one of these people that presses a lot when you're running around, you have nothing to do, your magazine's full, uh, it's a habit that you want to unlearn right now because I'm one of those people and I shot a lot of these ice spears unnecessarily. Also, one ice spear costs you 50 fuel. So keep that in mind. Firing these bad boys once costs you 50 fuel, but then again, it does deal massive amount of damage to weak points and is able to stun Praetorians as well. It's also really strong when dealing with neophyte breeders and spitball infectors or any like large spawning um, spawning enemy just like the, the Brute Nexus. So the way I set this up is I get the faster two I spin up so you can instantly start freezing shit. It's pretty much a must up have upgrade for me so you don't have the little initial delay when uh, triggering your regular attack. And this is uh, followed up by bypass integrity check once the chamber is completely empty, you will start repressurizing re almost immediately. So this is really important with the ice spear because the moment you fire the ice spear, it completely empties out the pressure on your chamber, so you can't fire your gun regularly. So it's really important to start repressurizing as quickly as possible. And then the second one adds onto that, which is the improved pump, so you refill, refill the pressure chamber even faster. So you're back to the level where you need to be as quickly as possible after you shot the ice spear. And the next one is the larger reserve tank. So you got an extra 150 fuel. Once again, an ice spear takes up 50 fuel. So it's definitely worth getting the extra ammo here. And then afterwards, you can either pick fragile or cool radiance. I just picked fragile because it's more DPS focus, overclock and build, and not necessarily like an AOE or a CC focus build. So a few important things about the ice spear. Once again, it's hard to trigger it. Uh, the collision works a bit of weight with it though, so be 100% be sure that you got a clean line to your target before you fire it, otherwise you might hit the terrain and you just wasted 50 ammunition. I don't think as well, the splash of the ice spear when it lands, it's got a really, really small AOE, so if you shoot it in the middle of three Glyphids, you are able to take those three out in one go, which is pretty nice, but then again, as I said, it's a really small... A really small AOE circle, so don't expect to like get rid of an entire group with one spear. It doesn't work that way. And lastly, it works really, really well against large enemies and by shooting them on the weak points. Or especially in the breeds, you can shoot them anywhere and it does a ton of damage to them. So keep that in mind when you're using the ice spear. You want to use this against big targets and preferably their weak spots. So I'm going to be showing you the gameplay right now to build an action so you can see how much damage it does to neophyte breeders and such. I hope to see you guys stick around for... Uh, for the gameplay. If you have any comments on how you built this differently from me, please let me know. If you have an overclock you want me to check out next, let me know as well. And I hope to catch you guys at the end of the video. See what they're gonna be doing there. If they will survive me trying to fucking butcher them. Okay, so yeah, like the, the spear is really good to for single target shit. The ice spear. Yeah, have you been doing uh, otherwise, bud? Like, how's life in the fourth and, fourth and shit? I'm actually curious to hear. Oh, jeez, I can't get up there. No, without drilling myself up. Ow. Ow. So stop biting me, please, thank you. That's so, like damage pretty good in this setup. Holy hell. Tiring joined uh, G3, GA7, and J8. So that's all happening on the 6 years of because of Royal Dragoon Guard. So strong, got like single target. So wait for the Potomac to push up. Imagine. Imagine. 
Imagine not hitting the, the site like that. And those things work both ways though, but I'm not. Yeah, so in like in legit half HPs, a brute nexus like that. Yeah, so the higher we refresh rate, the stronger it gets apparently. Which is also pretty nice to see. Actually, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Do we have uh, an angle on that guy? Yay! Okay, now we can clean that up. Yeah, well, like the damage on like single targets on this thing, if you hit weak points and shit like that, it's pretty solid. I I'm a fan. Big, big fan. Thank you. Yeah, so you just saw how insanely strong the uh, the Iceland basically is. Oh, that, that chunky. That, that was a nice 40 millimeter. Not gonna lie. Ow. Yeah, we can just hold it right here. There we go, we got him. Took a little while, we got him, ladies and gents. Oh, out of our order. Oh, wait, we almost, we, we're almost out. Okay. Pretty neat, not gonna lie. Like, sometimes you get really lucky with the positions just like this. Like, it's just insanely easy. Like, the rest of the team's downstairs taking care of the issue right here, and we're just like tossing that shit. Well, I'm just like holding down the fort right now. Oh, that's the last one. I know it's not, it's like. <laughs> get, get, get out of the way, thank you. Yeah, so you also need to lead. The projectile is quite slow, so that means that you need to lead it a little bit. We just wrecked that menace, though. Who's that ready, by the way? Like, uh, yeah, so it does AoE as well. Like, you could see this guy being stunned by the impact. So that's also good to know. It works against large groups of enemies as well. And what, what, what do you want me to do? I mean, I could see for it, I guess. I think that's a fair call, just see for it. I do have two charges, so I don't see why not. So that legit did absolutely fuck all. covers the ice spell overclock if you have any questions or comments on this build make sure to leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future content as well lastly have a great day and i catch you guys in the next one